Let's see the solution for two triangles connected with trigonometry and its applications in real life. Sometimes there are multiple triangles of the same problem through which we identify the different dimensions using the trigonometric ratios of curves. So let's see a problem related with triangles. So initially to start with, let me take the problem A person is watching the top of the tower. A person is watching the top of the tower of height ten root three meters from a distance of from a distance of 10 meters is the question. Now, he moves further He moves further and watches the top of the same tower at an angle of 30 degrees. Now I had to find the distance between his two positions is the question out here. So there are many things given out here through which I convert into a diagram and see what exactly I get. Now here to read carefully I have a person is watching the top of the tower of height 10 root 3 meters from a distance of 10 meters. He moves further and watches the top of the same tower at an angle of 30 degrees. Now, to find the distance between his two positions is what we need to find. So, therefore, let's convert this into a diagram. The minimum information, I see that I initially draw the ground, which is the most essential factor. Now, there is a person standing. Here is the tower of height. 10 root 3 meters. So the height of the tower is 10 root 3 meters and from here the person is standing out here and getting to be 10 meters away from the tower. So now we have to take the next information which says that a person is watching from a distance of 10 meters therefore if the person is initially at A he is at a distance of 10 meters from the foot of the tower. This is the foot of the tower and this is the top of the tower. So 10 meters away is this and next it is also given that he moves further and watches the top of the same tower at an angle of 30 degrees. Now we should know whether the person is moving towards the foot of the tower or away from foot of the tower is the biggest question out here. So this is a very mat important mathematical property to identify whether the person is moving towards the foot of the tower or away on the right, away from the foot of the tower. So how do we identify this mathematically? So in order to do that, initially because the person is watching the top of the tower from A, let's try to find this angle. So clearly I identify that this angle is nothing but can be obtained if I use the trigonometric ratio tan theta because if I use this CD is the height of the tower. So in triangle ACD, what do I get? In triangle ACD, if I see tan theta, if I take this as theta, then my tan theta is opposite by adjacent, which is opposite side is 10 root 3, and my adjacent is 10, so that this gets cancelled to get root 3. 
but we know that from trigonometric table or the tabular diagram tan 60 is root 3. So this comes out to be tan 60 degrees which is root 3. Therefore my angle should be 60 degrees is how I extract the angle from the triangular dimensions. So with these two dimensions I get this theta equals 60 degrees. So using the 60 degrees I can find out whether the person is moving to the right or left. How do I do that? A very important note that because the person is moving further and watching the top of the tower at an angle of 30 degrees I see that this angle reduces from 60 to 30. Now when we I assume that the angle is reducing we see that the person is moving away to find the top of the tower. As the person moves closer to the tower the angle increases and as the person is moving away from the tower the angle decreases. Therefore 60 to 30 degrees clearly implies the angle is decreasing thus making us understand that the person is moving towards the right that is away from the foot of the tower so that if he moves until here at the point B then from here this is the angle which is 30 is how we clearly understand if the angle was given as 100 degrees then we clearly identify that the person is moving towards so that this becomes 100 degrees so the angles are identified through the increase or decrease and then the direction decided by the angle in this case 30 degrees implies towards the right now the question here is find the distance between his two positions so if I take this as X then I have this X which I need to find in the given problem how do I find X now this is related to solution for two triangles because this problem connected with trigonometric ratios has two triangles one is right angle triangle ACD and next is the right angle triangle BCD which give us the outcome of solving from each of the triangles. So let's see how we can solve from each of the right angle triangles as identified in this problem. So I take the distance between the two positions of the person as X where let X be the distance between the two positions of the person is what we take. So using this distance x in meters, let's see how x can be formed from the given right angle triangles. So initially I take the right angle triangle BDC in triangle BDC I find that for this right angle triangle if I take tan 30 degrees then that 30 degrees is clearly opposite by adjacent that is DC by BC opposite side by adjacent side is what we get but what is tan 30 we know that tan 30 is 1 over root 3 so therefore 1 over root 3 is DC which is 10 root 3 and then my BC which is 10 plus X because this on the whole is 10 plus X gives me the whole of BC so this is 10 plus X which I get now when I cross multiply this equation I get this as 10 plus X is 10 root 3 times root 3 is what I get for the given equation when cross multiplied now simplifying further I get this to be 10 plus x is 10 times of root 3 plus root 3 is 10 times of 3 so that this is x is 30 minus 10 which is 20 therefore x is 20 meters therefore this 20 meters makes me understand that that implies the distance between two of his positions is 20 meters is how I understand the real life problem connected with trigonometry and its ratios.